backpack and I just I was putting some things away and I found it I had it out here in my basket with my sunglasses so this is the creamy lip color in number 71 pink tulip and it is beautiful it's the same this one is a little bit more it's not as blue so it's a it is but it's not as it's a little bit deeper if you like my pink colors then you will like that so there's that okay and then I found these which these are as an accessory so many of you were so sweet and you let me know that these were on hot look I think I had like four people message me on Instagram and I bought a pair and, and look at these are these not the cutest things they're little hanger earrings. And for those of you that don't know, which you probably do know about now, I love hangers. And I love little fancy ones. And these are a little bit bigger than the ones that Elizabeth sent me. So I love those. And I love that one of them's got pearls and one of them's got rhinestones. So thank, of, thank you for all of you that thought of me. It took, I ordered them that night and it took like three weeks for them to get here, but okay, it was worth so the wait. Okay, so here goes my sunglasses story. I was not even gonna show you these because I buy so many I feel like you get sick of seeing them but I love sunglasses I always have I can remember my first pair that I ever really wore you know legitimately was a pair of like the Wayfarer style and they were pink and I remember wearing those when I was you know young like definitely in junior high and I've since then love sunglasses my brother does too and um, I've had a bunch of neat ones but anyway so I genuinely love them and I love different styles and I'm gonna do a video and show you how I keep them or maybe just post a picture I don't know a video would probably be a little bit better I'll just use my iPhone and um, show you how I keep them because what I do is I I'm not even going to say it. I'll wait for a video. But every day I pick out a new pair of sunglasses or a pair of sunglasses that I want to wear for that day for my outfit and what I'm doing that day. So um, that being said, I have bought several new pair. This pair I saw on Masha Trotsko or whatever, the Russian model that I've told you guys about before. I follow her on Instagram and she had these on and it was the same day that I sent Twee a picture of that ring, the X ring. I sent her a picture of that ring. I said, if you have anything like that, I'd love something like that. And I said, in these glasses. And I said, but I don't want the Mew Mew because those are just real round. I definitely want ones like these. And I'll be daggone if she didn't find them. They had them there at Saks. And so, but they were like three something and I, told her I said well let me hold off I ended up getting the ring and I ended up I think I got the ring and the first Laura Mercier foundation that day I said let me see if I can find the sunglasses at a better price on Amazon and the secret to doing that is when you're looking on Amazon and you're looking for sunglasses if you will get them from a legitimate eyeglasses store like that sells contacts and eyeglasses they get sunglasses of course at cost like the regular sunglasses places do but you know when they don't have when they can sell them online on, on amazon they don't have to mark them up as much so i ended up ordering these i will put the seller down below because i got them for i don't know 180 or something like that much less than they would have been and they came with all of the you can see i've been wearing them they came with the you know all the stuff that they would normally come with and they came with the box the company is um well, it's prada and that is the company and eyeglasses places sell a lot of that product and it comes with the cleaning cloth and then it comes with this case but they're these they're totally different than the wayfarers or whatever and i do have some round costa del mars i have the round tortoiseshell and the round white but they don't have the nose pieces. They do still fit me pretty well and they're polarized and I love those, the Costa Del Mars. But these were black and they're just a little bit different. They're not perfectly round. You can see they've got a little bit, it's almost like they're a round cat eye and that's what I love. And they're so sturdy. They fit my face so well. I actually took these and um, my new Tom Ford Aviators and um, what other pair? 
it was like three pair I took to Sunglass Hut and I buy so many sunglasses there they know me and they adjusted them all for me to fit my face so I love these you see they don't you know touch my cheeks and I love them and they look good with your hair back and I love that they are the gradient lens so they're that look like the other Pradas that I bought a long time ago remember when I bought the <clears throat> excuse me the Baroque and I ended up selling those because they sat on my face well this is just like a version that fits me perfectly so you can see, look how close I have to put the nose pieces together to sit up. My nose is just so, it's not that it isn't tall enough, it's just so thin that the glasses slide down and hit my cheeks. So once somebody explained that to me, it just made so much more sense. So, and I know a lot of you don't like glasses that have the nose pieces because you put them in your hair, but I just kind of broke myself from that habit. Now I just fold them and put them in my purse when I get in the store and I usually slide them down in a pocket and um, so love those and I will put the link down below and um, then I know what it was I had gotten those other ones that were blue this is a good segue I had gotten the ones that were blue that I thought were going to be the ones I wanted but they ended up being the colored ones that I sent to Nadine so you guys told me that I could go on Ray-Ban's website and do a custom pair of sunglasses and that was so neat and it does not cost any more than you know buying a pair off their site so that's what I did and I just got these yesterday oh it's not those <laughs> and I got to pick the color case which I picked black and I've got a million Ray-Ban cases but I always keep my cases in case I sell them because I just sold um, another pair um, yesterday or day before yesterday I sell them all the time on my website if I decide I just want to get something else but so what I did is I picked the blue I can't remember what the wording was if it was vintage blue or something I picked the gold rims and they even let you put a like an inscription on the thing and I thought about it and thought about it you know what do I want to put on there and I thought about putting Will and Brooke's name and everything and I ended up just because you guys had told me about these, I ended up just putting, um, I don't know if you can see it, it just says Lisa Lisa D1, because I'll always remember that with these glasses. I mean, I probably would anyway, but I just thought that was so neat. And so these are just what I wanted. Now, I adjusted these myself, so they might be crooked. Are they? Looks like they might be. So what I'll do is next time I run Ah, there they, they go like that. Next time I go through Mayfair where my sunglass hut is, I will run in. But I love the way they're blue, but you can still see through them. I think that's so cool. And I hate that they are crooked. And plus my eyebrows are crooked. So thank you so much for telling me about this. They were just a hundred and some dollars, you know, not crazy expensive. And um, I just love them. So I'll be wearing these on my Instagram too and they're so sturdy. One thing about Ray-Bans though, and I'm gonna show you with the next pair, is if you don't like heavy glasses, these have the true glass lenses, they are heavier. And, you know, I noticed that like with the Tom Ford aviators, I'm not sure what those lenses are made of, but those are some comfortable aviators. A lot of times I will start out with another pair of glasses and I will end up with those Tom Ford aviators that's what I've done lately because they're just so, so comfortable. thank you very much for these I love them I think they're so cool and okay. so neat and then these I got before you guys told me about that I had already ordered these I found these on Nordstrom and then when I got them on I think I got these on Monday I went and looked online to see if they had the blue ones or I can't remember why I went and looked but they had been marked down $40 and so I called and Nordstrom refunded me $40 and some change where they had done a price match. So now these are only, I think, $120 and they are the large aviators. They're the 62 millimeter and they're pink. So you see how they're just like a light pink and they are, they're not truly mirrored, but they are just a little bit. And I wore these in my Instagram post yesterday. And these are heavy. 
these are much heavier than like the Tom Ford aviators or even the smaller ones but I love the look of the great big aviator and I loved this pink and you can't see it all the time but in certain ways you can see and see how you can still see through them so it was the same concept as the blue that I was looking for and when I couldn't find the blue I, went I will back put the link to these. these down below because they're on sale and I just think they're so pretty I think they're gorgeous they're so soft looking for that aviator look okay so I think <laughs> I think that's the, all the ones that I got before I ended up stopping in solstice and what I've been doing is I stop in there with the kids and John and I look at the sunglasses and then we go do our shopping for Brooke and I think about it and then I hit them back on the way back to Nordstrom and to get out of there so, so this let me is get the store and like I told you they had been sending me like little things saying you know the sale and stuff was going on so I went in there and one pair of these it's going to go with a pair of shoes that I got that day. So the first ones that I tried on that I loved, this is what happened. I tried to pick one pair and I just couldn't because I loved them all. And he ended up, when I came back, telling me that he had called his manager and because I was buying several pair, they gave me the friends and family extra $25 off of each pair. So this is my first pair and they are Gucci. Each pair has the most unique case. And because of that, I might actually take the case with me when I take the glasses out that day. Look at this, so cool. But these are my typical shape that I love. And the gradient lens on these is so pretty. They're Gucci, like I said, and I think they are just beautiful. They're the big, kind of like my R Roberto Cavalli, but they're, I love the way it goes down to almost nothing at the bottom. And I just think they're so pretty. And look how pretty the face, I mean the back or the arms are just gorgeous. And they just fit my face so well that these, right from the beginning, I had to have. And I just feel like they're so, I don't know, I love the little Gucci sign on the side. I just think they're so pretty. Okay, so that's those. This cool case. So it snaps. Okay. And then the next ones I tried on are these. And these are the ones that go with a pair of shoes. And I'll show you the shoes in just a minute. But this is the new Bobby Brown is making sunglasses. I knew she was making eyeglasses because they sell the eyeglasses in the place that I get my so eyes So I knew examined. that Bobby Brown did eyeglasses, but I didn't know she did sunglasses. And when he brought out the case, when I was checking out, he said, some people like this and some people don't, but I think it is really cool. It looks like a makeup case. It's got the little chain. It would just, I mean, you could use it as a going out bag. I'll take this off of it. And it says Bobby Brown. You're gonna love this. I'm gonna take the glasses out first and show you the bag. And it comes with a mirror in it, which I need to take that off. And then it actually has like pockets in there for you to put things. I just think that is so cool. And um, then these are the glasses. Oh, I just thought they were so pretty. They're kind of like my Ray-Ban Clubmasters but I gotta be honest, I love the Ray-Ban Clubmasters just because they're so classic, but they're so harsh. They're just so pointed and, you know, I have to be in the mood to wear those. Where these are a little bit, it's almost like they're a cat eye Clubmaster. And I love the pink enamel. I just thought that was so pretty. The pink and black, it just reminds me of like the 50s. And he was so good. He adjusted every pair of glasses to fit me perfectly and you know cleaned them and then the lens is so pretty on these see how they're kind of like a little bit of a gradient and um these were not very expensive because every time i kept trying to you know cut down on how many pair i got you know i hated to cut these out because they were just a hundred and something and then he gave me i think fifty dollars off by the time i got the special and then the extra 25. so i just thought a lot of you might like these too i just think they're so pretty and they will look, you know, perfect with the right outfit. So I'm going to put these back in here. Put that in there. And that's so cool. I just think that's the neatest. 
I guess it could be bulky, but for us makeup girls, hey, I think and then the last that. pair are the coolest. And this is just the bag and the receipt. These are Jimmy Choo. And I'll go ahead and tell you the shoes that I got are Jimmy Choo. So, of course, I've never had a pair of Jimmy Choo sunglasses. And these just, they were more expensive, but I got the money off and I just fell in love with them. Okay, first of all, look at this case. And the guy there just knew, oh, this is hand cut lace, something, something. You know, he knew all about the, just even the case was like extra fancy and special. And then these glasses actually came in black and then they came in this color. And I just think that they are gorgeous. They are like a lace cat eye. And evidently that's kind of popular right now, this lace design. And they're just beautiful. And I'm not sure what this color is called, but it's kind of like a blushy metallic color. Goodness, look at that. So it goes with my nail polish. And they're beautiful on. Aren't they gorgeous? I love the way they're kind of like an oversized cat eye. And I just think they're so Hollywood and so pretty. And I love them. So you can see why it was hard for me to cut out. I did cut out the Bottega Veneta. <laughs> because they were really expensive but um anyway so i love those and that is it for my sunglasses for a while oh i know i say that and i'll see another pair i love but um they're also different and i just love that case okay so now i am going to show you the shoes that i got and then i'll stand up and do my outfit of the day and show you the clothes that i got when i was shopping with brooke it's when you're shopping with someone else, you can't help. It's kind of like Christmas shopping. You end up seeing stuff for yourself, too. Okay, so before so I'll be right we went back. to Saks, I knew we were going to go. So I cashed out some of my points for a Saks card, which gave me $350. So I knew I was probably going to put that towards a pair of shoes. And I really wanted to look at the Jimmy Choo Summery Shoes because it seems like every time I want a pair of those, they're sold out or it's the wrong season. So when I got there, I tried on... Goodness, I tried on some beautiful, um, I tried on the nudist song in like a metallic holographic. I tried on a beautiful pair of joie booties, but there is a friends and family sale coming up that Safu told me about that I can get 25% off of those. So I ended up trying on several styles of the Jimmy Choo. I really like the nude slide, but they didn't have my size. I take an eight and a half in those. And so I may order those, but I ended up trying these and they were like, they made me feel like that perfume. They make me feel so feminine and pretty and they're just the most beautiful color. And here they are. <laughs> and they are just the Jimmy Choo Espadrille in this just soft, precious baby pink. I'll probably wear these for Easter on Sunday. And then they have the little metal thing with the Jimmy Choo written on it and other than that they are so comfortable and so pretty on the feet they're just really pretty and um, in this style I started out trying on the eight and a half and that was too big I wore an eight or just a regular 38 in these and they did have different colors and they had all different styles and even the slides but I liked this because I knew I could wear this with so many different things and, you know, I would wear this with boyfriend jeans and just a white, you know, a graphic tank or a graphic tee, a tank top or anything. Or I can wear them with dresses, you know, so, and they're just, aren't they just the sweetest color? So I, that's why I got the Bobbi Brown pink sunglasses. I thought I would wear them when I wear these shoes. Oh, they're just so pretty. They're just beautiful. And look, even the little shoe bag it's just so pretty and it's real soft and it's just like a baby that baby pink color so and so these were I think oh you know what you know I was just going to show you this and I noticed that they are the 38 and a half so maybe I was wrong maybe I tried the 38 and it was too small I'm not sure so let me I will try these on and we'll see but Anyway, here's the info on those, and the style is enamel patent lychee. That's the color, and they were $450, and then I had the $350 off, so they just ended up being $100. That is my score. <laughs> 
So anyway, let me try these on for you and I will I'll let you know. I'll go ahead and do my outfit of the day. I've got on this new skirt that I love and my tank is just one that I bought, I think last year from J. Crew. I have several like this. I have one from T by Alexander Wang. I think I have one from Gap and this one's J. Crew. And this one is just the best for covering up my bra. So, and I knew I didn't want to wear with all this going on, I didn't want to wear anything else that was gonna, you know, be too funky underneath this. So, and then this skirt is from Oliver. I remember trying one of these on last year that she had and I loved it, but it was white with the design and I just didn't think it looked that good on me, but I love this one. And it's a size small and it is the Rainbow Palm Pencil Skirt. And I went and bought this Oh gosh, I don't know, the other day, and she, I asked her if she was gonna do a discount. I don't know how many more she has, but she's gonna do 15. Oh gosh, sorry. She's gonna do 15% off, so I will put a code down below because I think a lot of you are gonna like these, and the, this Mar Hoffman stuff is so pretty to me. It just is so different, and I think this skirt is gonna be, I kind of regretted not getting the one last year. I love the high-waisted skirts, but anyway, have so here it goes. <laughs> Jimmy Choo. Sand, oh, <laughs> sandals now. So we can look. I think that this is right. I think they look like they fit to me. I can't imagine them being any smaller. So I must just be mixed up. I must. It must have been another shoe. I thought I was going to take an eight and a half. So yeah, get thirty-eight and a half on these, and um, they're beautiful. I love them. So this is a skirt, and you can see it's hard for me to pull it up because I'm so used to everything being on my hips but I really think it's flattering. And it's a perfect, you know, height or length. And let me put my other shoes on. I think so look many good. pairs of shoes looked good with this. I could have done my bright blue, Stuart Weitzman. I could have done white or whatever, but when it comes right down to it, I think the nude ones always seem to look the best. So I love this and it's very comfortable. It really is. Even though I thought I was gonna need the medium, but I got the small because I still want to get down just a little bit and but this still fits perfectly so I'm going to show you what I got hey, this I will show you the hat um, when I sit down because I bought that at um, Urban Outfitters okay when we were at Saks I was looking around and they had a sale rack and I bought just the score of the century this is a DVF Donna Von Furstenberg dress or Diane Von Furstenberg dress and it was regularly $4.68 and I got it on sale for $187.20 and it's a size 6 and they say to always size up because they run small and so this is a little snug on me right now I mean I can still wear it but um you know I probably could wear an 8 too and it depends on if I were to lose 5 pounds this will be perfect but you know what I mean and um, I just love it oh, it looks so good on I'm, I might wear it next Friday but um, I also have two, the two DVF dresses that I bought off of eBay. They're gorgeous. One of them is the one that Sarah Jessica Parker wore on Sex and the City, the movie. Or no, it was on one of the episodes. And then the other one has the scribble where it says Diane Von Furstenberg. I've got both of those in a 10 that are just too big for me. And I'm going to put those on my website tonight if anybody wants any of those. I've been holding on to them because I just hated to let them go but since I got this I feel like I can now and um, I just love it these dresses are just I love them I love the way they look I think they're so classic and sexy at the same time and this top I saw as soon as we walked into Urban Outfitters and it's got the peplum it's just a little t-shirt with a little peplum at the bottom and like a kind of like a boat neck and I just thought it was pretty I thought it would look good with skirts you know it's I mean, it's just something I could wear when I want to, you know, look covered up and look pretty. It would also look good with boyfriend jeans and heels. I think you could wear it lots of different ways. And it's this small and it was 49. And the brand is um, Cooperative. It's from Urban Outfitters. From Urban Outfitters. Brooke got, she's had one of these that she got a couple years ago, maybe last time we went, that she loves. And she got another one. And I saw this and it reminded me of, I had a shirt that was blue and white, kind of striped like this years ago. I think I was in 10th grade that I loved. And so I saw this and I loved it and I thought it would look so pretty with 
jean shorts, a jean skirt, boyfriend jeans, just worn over anything, but it's got the, I don't know what it's made of, but it's just so slinky and pretty. It's that BDG brand. This is a small, and it was 59, and um, it's got like this, you know, deep slit, so you can wear it with leggings. And let me see if I can find what it's made of. Let's see, machine wash cold, 100% rayon. But it washes and dries well. I've washed it a bunch of times and just so pretty. Okay, this is a dress I ordered from, oh gosh, I think Shopbop um, before I left. And it's a medium, it was 57 and it's splendid. And you guys know I love these maxi dresses that are like this. I wear them all the time and this is just a midi and I love the color. I'm a sucker for the blue. It's just like a tank. Just I've got that white on, I'll just leave it on. Okay, I wanted to, I normally don't show you, I used to, but I've gotten to where I don't show you every little bra and underwear thing I get because, you know, it's basically, usually it's the same thing over and over again. But, um, I got some at Urban Outfitters and I just thought I would show you those just in case. Okay, this is, they had, I think, buy four pair for $20 at Urban Outfitters. So I got my classic little lacy thong, and then I got these. I thought were so pretty. So it's like this in the front, which I like because a lot of times that bow and seam right there on my Victoria's Secret ones will show through my dress or my skirt. So I was glad to see that, but then it still looks real pretty in the back. And I think I got those, yeah, in the pink and black. And then I got these. So yeah, it was four pair for 20, I believe. I thought those were pretty. And then this I was excited about because I always, you know, see everybody wearing those really pretty bras and everything. And it's mostly for people that have, you know, like a B cup or something. And I did get that knit one, the Obey, and I like that. But I've always wanted some of those other pretty ones. So when we went in Free People, I asked the girl, were there any of them that they had that, um, you know, if you had a D cup or more that you could wear? And she said that she did, and she wore these. And so I bought them, and they fit. They fit. They're not crazy fitting. They just fit like they're supposed to, and I'm so excited. So that's why I was excited to show you. The first one is this one, and it was 38 in ivory. I got two different styles. And so that's this one. And this one just kind of slips over your head and see, you know, you can wear it underneath a tank top or something and let some of this show. I mean, I wouldn't let the whole, you know, bra part show, but if some of the straps and stuff show, it looks pretty. And then this one really fits the best. It is the halter style and it even has the back to it. So you can tighten it if you want to. And what size did I get in these? I got whatever she told me to, medium. Because like I said, if I get a large, they're, the thing's too far apart. But um, both of them fit perfectly, so I'm excited. Like I could have worn, you know, one of these under this if I was wanting to go for an edgier look. Would have done that. And then, um, let's see, the last thing I saw, because I promised myself I was gonna show you every single thing, no matter how long it took or whatever. I bought this, yeah. Hold on. I think it was last week we went to eat at Cracker Barrel, and they had the prettiest selection of mermaid stuff and I bought one of these for Nadine and I and then I bought a mermaid doll that is so pretty for my niece um, it was kind of like a doll that you would goodness like a doll you would sit outside it wasn't like a baby doll it was just like a decorative doll and um, so I got that for her and then I bought this and I just think it's so pretty I love that mermaid because she's kind of vintage looking and um, you see it's Cracker Barrel Huh, I wonder, I bet that's a butter dish. But I bet that's a butter dish. I was thinking it was just for jewelry. How cool is that? That is so cool. I love that even more now. Microwave safe. But it was just $5.99. I just wanted to show you in case any of you liked it. You could go get one. Okay, accessories. I have on an old little ring that, matter of fact, Brooke has kind of taken these over and I saw it sitting out, so I put it on. My first Dean Davidson castle ring, it's the lapis. And then Sheila sent this to me with my last, I got a huge box of Sheila Fajal that I've already added to my website. And she sent this to me and it's really supposed to be for my thumb, but it's a little big and I'm scared I'm gonna lose it. But it's the neatest, see how it like 
moves, so it's perfect for your thumb. So I just put it right here until I can get another one that's smaller. And then, you know, my nail polish is the Rage. And then this is, you guys probably remember me wearing this last year. And it's just perfect in the summer. It's not, it's kind of like too light and frail for the winter. It gets lost, but I was so glad to get it back out. And it has the Labradorite little stone at the end. And it's like a long lariat type style. And, you know, now those like t-shirt chains and all that kind of stuff is popular. And a lot of people would wear it you know, or body chains. So you could wear it like that and it, you know, looks like it's a body chain. But of course, I like it like that. So that, and I've got some of those. Oh, I hope you guys have a from. wonderful, let me zoom in a little bit more. Hope you guys, oh, and my earrings are the oval um, Danny hoops. They're my new favorites, I think. These and the, I've been wearing these and the smaller favorite hoops a lot, but I love those. I love that they're, you know, just a little bit different. They look good with your hair up too. So I guess that's it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. A happy Easter and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.